So first time on the K-Box. Uh, so now we're going to introduce Sarah here to the K-Box. Um, so you, you can basically uh, uh, get up on the K-Box and face the flywheel here. So this is, uh, let's pretend this is her first time on the K-Box. So there's a few things we need to do. We need to set an inertia. For now, I picked a little bit heavier flywheel because the first time I, I want them to have sort of a, a little bit more resistance. Because if I pick a too small flywheel, they, they might be able to move a little bit too fast. And when they can move fast, it's also a little bit technical. So I want to slow them down. Easier for me to help them. Um, so that's, that's done. We also need to have some sort of attachment to get into connect with the K-Box. For this, we're, we're going to do a squat. So we pick the harness. And it's important now that you feel that you have a size. It should be a fairly fit, uh, tight around the waist. You can see here it's in the lower back. So this looks good. Does it feel OK for you? Yeah. And this distributes the load over the shoulders when she's in a sort of correct squat position. If she leans a little bit too much forward, it will go into a sort of uh, belt squat. And the, most of the load will come here. So, but that, that's why it's important it's not too long or too short, because that will offset the ergonomical benefits. So, and so when she connects here, she, we take those inwards, push the button here to get some belt out. So red to red here uh, on the harnesses. Uh, so it's much smoother against the thighs here, otherwise it can cut in a little bit. And then we need to set the top position. So push the button again, get rid of the excess dry belt here. So, and, and have her stand here in a squat position. So, flywheel, uh, accessory, uh, and she's connected, and we set the range of motion. If I want her to have some slack in the top position, I can just take out a little bit extra. Um, uh, for first time users, um, uh, sometimes I even give them a sort of restricted range of motion so they can't fully extend, because what's important here in the squat is that I don't want you to stop in the top position. Because at, in the, at this point in exercise, the uh, flywheel is full of energy. You so accelerated the flywheel, and it's going to want to pull you down again. So I don't want you to stop here. Uh, so I want you to go down and absorb. And by giving you a sort of restricted squat, that sort of you can't really lock out. But for now. Um, then I want you to move maybe slightly, a little bit, little bit in front of the hole, because she's going to sit down when he go, she goes into the squat. She's, she's moving a little bit backwards, so I want you, her to be centered over, uh, over the opening. Uh, and also that the center uh, on the K-box is slightly to the left, because the center is between the two strands of the drive belt here. Uh, so don't center over the shaft, but slightly to the left here. Uh, when you're facing the K-Box this way. So, so now we're ready to start and do our first squat. Yeah. So I'm going to take you down. I'm going to um, take you, retract a little bit of dry belt by spinning the flywheel, take you down to a quarter squat, and I want you to go up gentle. Don't lock out, but absorb on the way down. And then you can go deeper and deeper and harder and harder, sort of rep by rep, just to get a feeling for it and focus on the timing and, and, and keep sort of in contact with the flywheel, no slack, just yeah. get the motion going, okay? Yeah. So I'm retracting a little bit of dry belt here. Good. And you decide for yourself how deep and how hard you want to go. And with a too small flywheel, uh, this is repetition again, but with a too small flywheel, it would be quite easy for her to just go up too fast and lose control and being pulled down very fast. The transition between the concentric and the eccentric action will be much shorter then. So I think this is a good. And then when she wants to stop, I just want you to absorb on the way down and stop. And then we can stop and disconnect here, or you can go up slowly. So you don't put energy into the flywheel and stop in the top position with a very slow spinning flywheel. Okay, good. And that's your first squat on the K-Box.